I must confess that uh, that dream that I had that day has at many points turned into a nightmare. Now the other thing that we've got to come to see now that many of us didn't see too well during the last 10 years, that is that racism Not guilty. is still alive in American society and much more widespread. A handful of protests, a handful of uh, criminals uh, and thugs who... Many in moments of anger, Many in moments of deep bitterness engage in riots. And as long as America postpones justice, we stand in the position of having these recurrences of violence and riots over and over again. Social justice and progress are the absolute guarantors of riot prevention. Mr. Gray's death was a homicide. The Negro was freed from the bondage of physical slavery. The athletes marched onto a stage. Where but at the same time, the nation refused to give him land to make that freedom meaningful. Freedom without land to cultivate. Freedom and famine at the same time. And create jobs for our people. And create jobs for Negro our people. is to be free, he must move down into the inner resources of his own soul and sign with a pen and ink of self-assertive manhood his own emancipation proclamation. But I want to get the language right tonight. I want to get the language so right that everybody here will cry out, Yes, I'm black, I'm proud of it, I'm black and beautiful. Individually, we are poor when you compare us with white society in America. We are poor. Collectively, we are richer than all the nations world with the exception of nine. That's power right there if we know how to prove it. We begin the process of building a great economic base and at the same time we are putting pressure where it really hurts. We don't have to argue with anybody. We just need to go around to these stores and to these massive industries in our country. Say, God sent us by here to say to you that you're not treating his children right. And we come by here to ask you to make the first item on your agenda bad treatment where God's children are concerned. Now, if you're not prepared to do that, we do have an agenda that we must follow. And our agenda calls for withdrawing economic support from you. We mean business now and we are determined to gain our rightful place in God's world.